Hello and welcome to In the Kitchen with Mary Mack. This week we're talking overnight oatmeal because I got interested in this and now I have to follow through with it. <laughs> so if you're not familiar with overnight oatmeal, it's basically taking oatmeal, either quick oats or old fashioned oats, putting them in a container with various fruits, sweeteners, flavorings, whatever, and adding your milk to that, leaving it in the refrigerator overnight, and then the next day you just heat it up in the microwave and you're ready to go. So that's that was my understanding of overnight oats. A lot of people actually eat it cold, which I could not do, could not bring myself to do. <laughs> So in doing some investigating on what the popular ways were to make overnight oatmeal, you know, I was looking at all this and I'm like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I like that idea. I saw people, some of them, they put so much liquid into them that they could drink them, which I didn't care for that either. I lean very traditional in oatmeal. So I want it to be hot. I like fruit in it. I don't like it to be very sweet. So I was thinking what I would look for in it, what I would want in the optimum recipe for an overnight oatmeal. So after watching a lot of YouTube videos of people doing their oatmeal prep and how they ate it and enjoyed it and ate it while commuting in their car, but they were actually drinking it out of a large container, that was, that was really odd to me. I decided to really do some experimenting with it and come up with a way to to do it that we like, that other people would also like, that would be convenient and not just the same old thing every day. So here's what I came up with, two different things. Now, you can make overnight oatmeal with fresh fruit or dried fruit. You can use either one of those. So I have two different methods here that I've come up with. And I figured, you know, really in most of the world in the wintertime, it's very hard to find fresh fruit that's good. And if you do find it, it's expensive. So if you don't want to spend money on something like that, you kind of are limited on your options. Being as I make a lot of baking mixes and I use a lot of dried fruit and nuts in those, I have a large variety of those things on hand. So I did a couple of different things and twists, you know, seeing what would be the right amount of liquid you would want and how much of the ingredients you would want to put in and getting the flavors right and stuff like that. And then I tricked some people into testing this for me. <laughs> you tricked them into testing it? <laughs> well, it was a, it was like, a, hey, would you be, do you like overnight oatmeal? Do you think you would like that? Would you like to try this for me? And the, the best one was my nephew was actually preparing some we stopped at their house and he was preparing some. I'm like, hey, would you like to test some overnight oatmeal? <laughs> and so we did. I got some good feedback from people and I think I have a pretty good system with it now. So if you, like me, like your oatmeal hot, like a variety of flavors and you want a different flavor every day or almost every day, I've got the tips for you. So my nephew, as I was saying, he takes it every day to work with him. So he makes up five at a time and puts them in the refrigerator and um, has them ready to go, which is fine to do that if you're comfortable with doing that. I'm not super comfortable with day five, I think, would bother me <laughs> from it being in the refrigerator. So I was kind of thinking about that, especially after watching videos of people preparing it like that. And I'm thinking, I just don't feel good about that. I, I wouldn't feel good about, especially with fresh fruit or frozen fruit in it, I wouldn't feel real comfortable with that. So I got a couple of ideas and here's what I came up with. When you're prepping overnight oatmeal, you can do a very basic prep. For example, you could put your oatmeal in, your sweetener in the container, and your milk in the container, and you're done. You have oatmeal. But if you want something more than that, and you don't want to have a lot of jars of things sitting around or a lot of ingredients sitting around or whatever, you can actually prep your overnight oatmeal without the liquid in small Ziploc bags, like sandwich bags, make yourself a large variety of it and just keep it in a container. So when you want to make your overnight oats, all you have to do is open up a bag of that 
dump it into your container, put your milk in and put it in a refrigerator. That way, number one, your refrigerator isn't full of jars of overnight oatmeal. <laughs> and number two, you have a lot of different flavors to choose from, whatever you feel like that day. So what I did was I mixed up five different flavors using dried fruit and nuts and had them in a basket. And then we would pick two every night and I'd mix them up. And then um, the next day we would have them. So it was very convenient. My already crowded refrigerator, I was able to fit two jars in there, which is great. I'm astonished you were able to fit two jars in there. Oh my gosh. You need like a shoehorn. I don't know how it happens. I'm sure everyone has the same problem, possibly, maybe. But <laughs> I'll have like my whole refrigerator cleaned out. And then two days later, there, you can't, you couldn't put a slip of paper in there. It's like refrigerator Tetris, except <laughs> like once the bars are filled, they don't disappear. <laughs> refrigerator Tetris. Thank you. Thank you for that word picture. <laughs> it's delightful. So here's what I did. I used old fashioned oats. You can use quick oats if you like. I actually made some up with quick oats too. So whichever you prefer, get yourself a big container of oatmeal, either old fashioned oats or quick oats. If you want to do some dry fruit variety packs, you can get smaller packages of various dried fruits. For example, if you go to Aldi in the department where they have trail mix and nuts and things like that, they also have plain packets of dried fruit. You can get dried cranberries, which are also known as craisins. You can get raisins, golden raisins or dark raisins. Usually you can get cherries, blueberries, sometimes diced apples, mangoes, anything like that. Anything that you like, you can pick those fruits, you know, or whatever dried fruits they have. And then as far as nuts, I had walnuts and pecans, so I used those. You want to have some sort of a flavoring in there. I have powdered vanilla that I use in some of my mixes, so I used that, but you can also use liquid vanilla. You can use cinnamon if you like cinnamon. You just, you're just going to use a tiny bit, though, because a little cinnamon goes a long way. For your sweetener, you can use maple syrup, honey, raw sugar, brown sugar. We used raw sugar, and we also used maple sugar. And we had, you know, enough to make blends and varieties. So here's the basic recipe for the overnight oatmeal that you would use. You're going to need, in order to eat this, a pint jar with a good sealing lid. Wide mouth canning jars work great for this because they're easier to eat out of if you have them. But don't buy something special. Use what you have. So if you have one pint jars with lids, you can use that or you can use a plastic container if you choose to. I used one pint canning jars and then I save lids from certain things that fit on a small mouth or a large mouth jar that work really nicely. Like a lot of pasta sauces come with a reusable lid that has a seal on it. So you can use that or I have the Ball Jar Company makes plastic lids for using in the freezer or for making storage jars with your jars. And you buy them in a box of 12. They're very handy. So I have those on hand. So anything like that, your container just needs a good sealing lid. When you make your overnight oatmeal, you'll use a half a cup of quick oats or old fashioned oats and three fourths cup of milk, any kind of milk. Okay. Now, you don't put your milk in until you're putting your assembly in your container. That's the last thing that you do. So if you want to make up packets of overnight oatmeal, here's how you're going to do it. Get your bags that you're going to use to store it in. You're going to put a half a cup of oatmeal in each bag. Okay. Now for your add-ins. You can add a fourth teaspoon of cinnamon a half teaspoon of vanilla. You can use liquid vanilla in oatmeal. It won't hurt anything. The oatmeal will actually absorb it. So it works just fine even in the bags. Now, if you're going to add a liquid sweetener like maple syrup or honey, you won't add that until you add your milk when you're getting ready to mix it up. But into your dry mix, you can add a teaspoon or two of brown sugar, raw sugar, 
regular sugar, maple sugar, whichever you like. Now, a teaspoon doesn't seem like very much, but oatmeal itself is already sweet. So if you put too much in there, it becomes too sweet very quickly. I wouldn't recommend using more than two teaspoons of a sweetener, but one teaspoon is really enough. Now, for your dried fruit, you can add one or two tablespoons of each or any dried fruits. I usually use two tablespoons, especially if I'm doing a combination. But if you don't want that much fruit in your oatmeal, just use one tablespoon. You can do this totally by your own taste. So for example, if I was going to make cherry almond, so I used two tablespoons of dried cherries and one tablespoon of slivered almonds and put that into the mix. You can use more nuts if you like. I wouldn't use more than two tablespoons of nuts either because that becomes a lot. Rule of thumb, if you don't like nuts, don't use them. If you like nuts, you can use a little bit more, up to two tablespoons. For the dried fruit, you can use in combinations. I've used apples and raisins together, blueberries and cherries together, craisins and apples together, and it's fun to make those combinations up. You can use, uh, I actually just got an order of dried diced peaches in for one of my muffin mixes. So I'm going to make up some peach blueberry overnight oatmeal, which I think is going to be fantastic. And I'm excited just thinking about it. So these are the flavor combinations that I did for my basket. I had plain blueberry, which I just used some vanilla, a little bit of raw sugar, and the blueberries. And that was my blueberry mix. I used apples, raisins, and walnuts together. And that was a good flavor combination. I used craisins and pecans together. That was really good. And it, it's just like whatever you like, I mean, the possibilities are endless. Uh, I made up my mixes in my bags and then I labeled each bag with what was in it. Because I figured if I didn't do it right when I did it, I would have never remembered. Even just looking at them, it would have been gone. So we had a nice big basket full of all these. And it was so nice because I have to do it again. I'm down to three mixes. So I need to do it again. But it worked really well. When you go to mix it up, you just choose whichever bag you want. Pour it into your container. Pour your three-fourths cup of milk over the top of it. And put your jar in the refrigerator overnight. Then in the morning, or whenever you're going to eat it, you take the lid off of your jar, heat it for one and a half to two minutes in the microwave with the lid off, and enjoy your nice hot oatmeal. It was so easy. Like I said, if you want to add maple syrup for your sweetener or honey for your sweetener, put that in with your milk. Don't put that in your bag, but put it in with your milk. I'll have step-by-step -step pictures of how I did this up on the Facebook page. But it's really, I mean, it went so well. I really liked doing it. I especially liked having done it at night, just grabbing a bag of something and dumping it into a jar and adding the milk to it. It was so easy. So here's what you can do if you want to use fresh or frozen fruit. Basically, you don't need to do a lot of prep with this. If you want to do it in individual bags, just so you have the oats ready, and then you can add the fruit in when you mix it up. You could do that, but it's not super necessary, but it is very convenient. So you can add a half a cup of quick oats and put your vanilla in there or cinnamon or whatever you like. Put your sweetener in it and just close your bag up and you're ready to go with your fresh fruit when you want to mix it up. I have done it with blueberries several times and raspberries a couple times. And then I had raspberries and blackberries once. It's very good. So You'll do your half cup of oatmeal, a third cup of fresh fruit, whatever you like or whatever combination you like. You could use diced peaches, diced apples, raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, and then a teaspoon of sugar or sweetener, whatever you like, and a half teaspoon of vanilla. And this, you can use less milk because you don't have dried fruit sucking up all the moisture from your milk. If you're going to use fresh fruit, you can lower your liquid amount to a half a cup if you want. And if you're going to use frozen fruit, same thing. You can put a little less liquid in it. I've used frozen blueberries and it worked very well. Then do the same thing 
put your oatmeal in the jar, put your fresh fruit on top, your third cup of fresh fruit, put your milk in and put it in your refrigerator overnight. Next day, heat it up. Very good. As a matter of fact, I had fresh blueberry overnight oatmeal this morning and it was fantastic. It worked so good with the frozen blueberries too. I freeze blueberries every summer from Dawson's Orchard. Every time I go over, I'll buy a couple of pints and put them into a bowl in my freezer. If you're going to freeze blueberries, you do not have to wash them before you freeze them because if you do, they'll all stick together. So just get the blueberries. Even now, if blueberries are coming into the grocery store and they're a good price, you know, buy them and just take them home, dump them into a container, put them in the freezer. When you take them out of the freezer, rinse them off and let them thaw. And then you can put them in whatever you want. But they work great in this oatmeal. So this is overnight oats the way Mary Mac likes them. (laughs) Everybody that tried them like the little bags. They thought the bags were convenient. A couple of people said there were too many nuts because <laughs> I I like nuts, so I put in two tablespoons. My husband loves them. It's so handy for him as long as I remind him that he has a jar of overnight oatmeal in the refrigerator. He's good to go. So this is a thing like you can prep on the weekends. You don't need to have a bunch of jars of stuff in your refrigerator. You can just choose a bag the night before and throw it in. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. And make sure to check us out online on Facebook and Instagram at Mary Mac Bakehouse, on Twitter at Mobile Mary Mac and Mary Mac Podcast, and on our website, MaryMacPodcast.com. Thanks a lot for listening if you did, and if you didn't, too bad for you.